in order for me to understand my work, I have to be able to be very open and, and recognize what is going on around it. You know, how does it make people feel? How are people responding to it? It's about sort of building and making this three-dimensional sort of surface. You know, it may be an impulse and response to the materials that I'm using. You know, I wanted to interface dance, sculpture, performance within my way of building my sort of personal sort of curriculum of, of sorts. And so that's what I did. There's been many pivotal moments, even in school, through a number of sort of exhibitions. The moment somebody buys a piece of art from you is a pivotal moment. Because that sort of validates, it sort of gives you permission to sort of keep moving this idea around, you know, art, art making, becoming an artist. I have to sort of look at, you know, what's going on in my own sort of personal sort of career. And that's what informs my sort of teaching and the expectation that I sort of anticipate coming from the students. And just sort of try to feed them as much as I can uh, and get them very much sort of in the sort of essence of what it's like to sort of live and function and work as an artist. You know, try to sort of facilitate what you're, what's in your head and, and to sort of bring that to fruition fully, to fully realize an idea is extraordinary. And so I just encourage, you know, students to just, just make stuff. You don't have to believe anything, just make something. Wow.